I'm here today with IG Design Group's CEO, Paul Feynman, and CFO, Giles Willits, to discuss their full year 2020 results. Paul, can you give us an overview of the period? Certainly. Uh, Results for the year to the 31st of March 2020 showed good revenue growth with sales of just under half a billion pounds, despite a sizable impact of COVID-19. And in relation to COVID-19, the lockdown uh, period prevented shipments of £6.9 million of high margin sales from being made. And this, together with manufacturing lockdown and its consequent loss of overhead inventory absorption, resulted in a £3.8 million reduction in profit in the month of March. However, Revenues grew overall by 10%, and for the first time, we sold over 1 billion units of products worldwide. We also made really good progress against all strategic goals, notwithstanding external influences such as COVID-19, especially in March, and the evolving impact of significant tariffs in our US business. We are especially pleased with progress made in terms of our capital investments throughout the year, and of course, to have completed our largest ever acquisition of CSS Industries in the United States in early March. So in summary, a year that was very satisfactory under the circumstances. And how did you respond to the outbreak of COVID-19? And what impact has it had on the group? So our response to COVID-19 has been rapid. We have leveraged the strength and adaptability of our global business to deliver a strong first quarter in FY21. In terms of people, we had to immediately ensure our facilities were compliant with required protocols, including reorganizing manufacturing and distribution in order to maintain operations. We've been recognized as a best practice facility and used by local authorities as an example to other local businesses. In terms of customers, we accelerated preparation for the forthcoming Christmas season in order to underpin on-time delivery. We restored manufacturing and distribution to full capacity, establishing ourselves as an essential business in the United States and we've met all customer requirements. We have also ensured the integrity of our overall global supply chain. And in terms of financial strength, whilst disciplines were already very much in place, we adopted robust cash management, including prudent review of expenditure, inventory, and debtors. Overall, especially against our quarter one COVID-19 plans, We've seen a strong performance with actual PBIT in line with the same period in FY20, whilst we remained cash positive for the whole of quarter one FY21. Giles, can you give us an overview of the financial performance during the period? Sure. Our financial position is strong and we have ended the year with our lowest ever average leverage and our highest ever net cash position. These facts together with our resilient 2020 financial results give us confidence to maintain our year-end dividend in line with our progressive dividend policy. In terms of our headline 2020 commitments to shareholders, we have seen another year of good progress with our adjusted earnings per share after adjusting for the impact of COVID-19 up and in line with market expectations. Our dividend cover improved to 3.1 times and our average leverage is now below one times adjusted EBITDA. Revenue in FY20 was up 10% with strong organic growth and helped deliver adjusted profit after taking into account the impact of COVID-19 up to 32.9 million. We ended the financial year with 42.3 million of net cash, 
up 25.2 million on the prior year. And with our banking facilities of over 200 million, we have very comfortable headroom. Paul, despite the difficult environment, can you tell us what drove the financial performance? Of course. Uh, Well, we have three key strategic pillars working with the winners. What this means is whilst all customers are, of course, important to us, we recognise that deploying our resources with those key resilient and growth orientated customers is optimal for us. And in FY20, our top 10 customers grew to 52% of overall sales, up from 49% in FY19. Our second pillar is design and innovation. The diversification of our business, including its customer channels and product categories, is achieved through our focus on adding value to our products and our services through design and innovation. The craft category has now been added to our portfolio and e-commerce is a really healthy and growing customer channel for our business. In FY20, we developed over 75,000 products across our product portfolio. And thirdly, increasing efficiency and scale. With our new printing press in Memphis, which has been operational since March, as a great example, and the acquisition of CSS doubling the size of our US business. And how has the integration of CSS progressed? Well, despite the challenges that lockdown imposes on an integration plan, the acquisition of CSS is tracking ahead of plan and brings significant value for the future. All anticipated and identified 2021 synergies are on track with further opportunities identified for 2022 and beyond. We have already delivered $5 million of annualized savings to date. The acquisition has already brought significant value and opportunity as a result of the overall scale to leverage our future purchasing power and through enhanced cross-category relationships and the significantly larger presence that we now have in e-commerce. So what's the outlook for the group? Well, uh, overall revenue growth is certainly anticipated in the year and, of course, beyond. We've seen a robust performance in uh, grocery, in mass discount and in the e-commerce channel. Uh, Manufacturing and sourcing is on track and anticipated to fully meet customer requirements. We have a strong pipeline of orders in excess of $500 million, while certainly lower than previously forecast due to the impact of COVID-19. We anticipate record overall revenues in FY21, more than 25% ahead of FY20. We remain focused on organic growth, although it's very evident that we are increasingly seen as an industry consolidator with M&A opportunities greater than ever before. We look forward to the future with confidence.